What's up guys and welcome to my review for Molly's Game. This was a film that had a limited release at the end of 2017 and got a wide release this past weekend at the beginning of 2018. And the film stars Jessica Chastain. She plays as a true life character, Molly. This is also this is the book that, that the movie is based on. And the film is directed and written by Aaron Sorkin. And going into this, of course, I was excited. Aaron Sorkin movies, uh, this is the first time he's directed a film. His screenplays are always great. I absolutely loved uh, Steve Jobs with Michael Fassbender that, that, uh, that he wrote. It was one of my favorite movies of that year. So going into this, of course I was excited. And Jessica Chastain is a great actress as well. It's always good to see what she brings to the table. And this is the true life story of Molly who, you know, this film pretty much uh, encapsulates her, her life to, uh, to, towards a point in the, in the middle of her life when she gets so big in the poker world and she starts out, you know, as this, as this child, she's this rebellious child, she gets into skiing, uh, that goes south for her, without any spoilers, that goes south for her, she gets this job as a waitress, I believe, she gets entangled with some guy who runs a poker joint, and he runs these poker games, and then she thinks, you know what, I'm not getting paid enough, maybe I could do this myself because I have so much spare time as I'm just waiting behind the counter to study all this stuff. So what she does is she begins her own poker empire and something, you know, happens along the lines in the film, a bunch of stuff happens and now it comes to question, does she break the law? And that's where the film begins. We have to get her to find a lawyer who, uh, she goes to Idris Elba in the film. And that's basically how this film works. We're, we're, uh, some of it is with uh, Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba uh, in the present time, where they're just pretty much in an office talking, uh, or then it cuts back to where she's kind of narrating and explaining when we see what happened to her. And leaving the theater, I thought that Molly's Game, uh, I liked it. I didn't love it. I thought that it was way too long. I thought this movie had really bad pacing issues. I was, you know, really just getting, I, I, I was just getting very fidgety because I'm like, oh, okay, you know, this is happening, it's entertaining, but then something else happens and it was just very similar to what just happened. And it's like, okay, this is going to happen. Now this is going to happen. Now this is going to happen. And it's all like, it's all like, okay, this is entertaining to watch, but does it really need to be in the film? There's some stuff in this movie that I think could have been completely cut out. There's a, a good half hour of the movie, uh, not a big clump of it, like one consecutive 30 minutes, but just, you know, cut a scene here, cut a scene there. There's just some stuff that didn't need to be in this film. This movie is way too long, and this is Aaron Sorkin's first uh, directorial film. And I think he did, a, he did an okay job directing, he did a fine job directing. There's certain sequences in this movie that he, he made certain directorial choices uh, that I didn't necessarily dislike, but I, I was just like, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. And there's a scene that takes place, uh, I wouldn't even say towards the end of the film, because when it happened, I thought the movie was going to be ending soon, and it went on for another 20 minutes. But it's a scene, it's a very intense scene, and uh, it, it involves, like, there's, there's a bit of action that happens, brutal action between two characters. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. And there's, there's a, a bit during the scene where... He, he like slows it down like it's 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 regular speed and then it like cuts to slow motion and then it's regular speed then it cuts to slow motion I just I don't know I, I didn't like that choice in the editing room I, I don't know if that was Aaron Sorkin's doing probably was but I'm not entirely sure it's just you know some things like that bug me small things in this movie bug me but overall it was the pacing I mean the performances are, are, are fine Idris Elba I think it's giving a good performance I think Jessica Chastain is giving a good performance Kevin Costner probably gives the best performance in the film uh, as her father I just feel Jessica Chastain's performance in this movie she's just she's not giving anything special she, she's just giving a very good performance where she's just delivering her lines and she's doing what she needs to do and she does it very well but I just didn't feel like she brought anything, you know, she didn't bring any, I don't know, that's just me, like, like Frances McDormand and Three Billboards, she brought so much life to that movie, and you're always wondering what she was going to do this, do next, Jessica Chastain and this is good, but to me she didn't make the movie pop, she was just very fine in the movie, I don't know, is she going to get nominated for an Oscar, I have no idea, 
uh, maybe, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But in the end of the day, I think uh, Molly's Game is a good movie. I don't think it's a great movie. And I don't even think it's a really good movie. I just think it's, it's, a, it's a good film. Uh, and I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. Uh, guys, did you see Molly's Game? If you did, what did you think about it? Comment below. Did you read the book? What are your thoughts on this? Also, you can subscribe to this channel for my review for the first wide release of 2018, Insidious, The Last Key, which that review will be up shortly after this one. So you look forward to that. Uh, the post I'll be reviewing this coming Friday. I'll be seeing I, Tanya and The Commuter, the other uh, the next Liam Neeson film. I'll be seeing I, Tanya and The Commuter this weekend as well, so you can expect reviews for those. And within the next two weeks, I believe, the Oscar nominations are coming out, and I will be doing my live reactions to the nominations, as I do uh, mainly every year. I know I missed it one year, but uh, I will be doing that again this year. I'm very excited about that. Guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Molly's Game. Over and out. I'll tell them everything they want to know about me. About me.